Hey, Sam from SSL here, and today I'm gonna to show you some essential tips on using Delta Control and Matrix to add the final touches to your mix. Delta Control is a clever set of plugins that allows you to take control and automate your analog fader levels, analog switches, and store that data inside of your workstation. If you haven't used Delta Control before, please be sure to check out our introduction to Delta Control video on our YouTube channel and website. So let's take a look at my workflow for today. I've got my audio inside of Logic that is being stemmed out across the console. We have the kick, snare, drums, vocals, effects, bass, lead vocals, and so on. The key thing to note is that I've got analog compressors strapped across the insert points of the matrix. And if I was to automate inside of Logic using the Logic fader automation, I'd be riding into the front end of these compressors, which isn't necessarily desirable. By using Delta Control, I can automate post-processing in the analog domain. So, let's take a listen to our session. So overall in the verse here, we've got a pretty good fader balance, but I do know that I need to do a bit of work in the intro. So let's take a listen to that as well. Now, I can hear there's a level change uh, on the 808s and the vocal effects from the intro to the verse, so I think I need to raise those slightly in the intro. And to do this, I'm going to use a function of the SSL automation system known as Join. And what this does is essentially, when you're doing rides in an automation pass and you press stop, it remembers the fader values at the stop point, because obviously we don't want to capture those initial rides, but we want to find a good level uh, to punch in at. So what I then do is after doing that pass is roll back, punch in and the automation writes for that section. So let's have a go at doing this. So obviously you can see all the rides there but we don't want those but the join button has become illuminated. I can roll back to the beginning of the session Hit join and play. Still and what I did at the end was use the replay key to take the faders back to their original level for the verse. So let's have a look at doing this over the chorus as well. So firstly, let's take a listen. So what I think I'm going to do here is raise the drum level slightly in the chorus to add a little more punch. So what I'll do is roll back. She left me. Kisses on the mirror. She left me. No That's the level I like. So I can roll back, hit play, and then punch in. She left me. Kisses on the mirror. And again, I use the replay key to drop out of right and back to our free, uh, previous fader positions. So one other thing that I get asked to do uh, when delivering mixes is to deliver a vocal up and vocal down mix. And it's very easy to do that on the matrix with Delta Control because all I have to do is hit trim, put all of the faders into trim, ride the vocal up a dB and printer mix, ride the vocal down a dB, printer mix, and deliver these to the client. And that's everything. Please be sure to check out the other Delta Control videos on our website and on the SSL YouTube channel. She left me. This is on the